Well, it is my favorite time of the morning again, and we are getting adventurous with the barbecue recipes this morning. Michelin star chef Eric Matthews Michelin is with star us. Chef. Fancy. We are with a little bit of a barbie. Uh, yeah. Stepping it up, yeah. I'm excited. And are you in charge of the barbecues at home with families and friends? Um, what do you think when it comes to always. cooking? It's always, always. especially especially with uh, my, my fiancé's family, you know, big family down from Dungarvan. It's always, we're having a barbecue. And I go, sounds great. And I go, what are you cooking? <laughs> it's always like 40, you know, like, obviously when we were allowed to have people over to be like aunties and uncles coming out of the woodwork. So yes, I enjoy doing it. It's, it's a fun and thing. And no pressure with the Dungarvan crew. Oh, Fabulous foodie the place. Pressure beyond, yeah, yeah. wouldn't oh, it? Oh yeah, Dungarvan is probably a, I'd say it's one of my favourite places in Ireland. Me too. I really love it, yeah. I, yeah. I actually need to give a shout-out to um, Marie Quinn from the Moorings because she's amazing. Oh. Love that place. It's one really? of my favourite. Yeah, I love it. I love that place. Okay, so, yeah, so... trying it. But, so we're kind of... Uh, what I love about what we're, do, what we're trying to do is it's kind of one of those things where people, when they barbecue... Let's be honest, there's a lot of guesswork that goes into barbecuing. For some people, obviously, you know, if you're a chef, you kind of... No. But actually, even for me, like, there's a lot of times, especially, I love barbecuing, and I love slow cooking things, like, imagine, like, chicken or yeah. stuff mm -hmm. like that. They're always the ones that everybody's a bit kind of like, like, how do I, what do I do, you know? Like, what's the best way to do it? So that's what this is all about, you know? And... Uh, you have simple steps for us. We have we simple have steps, which that. I'm going to go through, right? So this is kind of the most important thing that we're talking about. I mean... As I said in the teaser, it's like having a, it's like having a sat nav on your car. You know, you want it's basically just going to help you get the right temperature. So 75 degrees is what we're all talking about. Okay. Now, when we're talking about cooking things at 75, it's like you know the likes things are like mince, burgers, okay. chicken. Like when it comes to a steak, like a big juicy fat steak, you know you can probe it. But you're only probing it to whatever temperature you like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Is, so what yeah. is 75 so for like a, a big bit, bit of meat? Like, is that a medium or what? No, that that's, we're talking well done. We're oh, talking well done. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you your right. chicken so medium. Obviously, yeah. obviously, this is live TV, so I've <laughs> kind of right. taken the liberty of starting to cook things. So we have uh, we have stuff to eat, and obviously you guys have okay, got some yes, stuff there. I'm going to nip so, over here and grab this. Yeah, you nip that. So what, what you're actually going to eat is, so these, as I said, they're beef koftas. It's just really, really beautiful Irish. Uh, it's actually 5% uh, fat, because my missus always gives out to oh. me. Um, and that's just been seasoned with um, a couple of things, obviously a bit of salt, but I've got sumac, um, I've got a, a, a Ras Al Hanout cumin, kind of like Moroccan -y Mediterranean. Sorry, Ras Al Hanout. Could yeah. I get that in the local supermarket? Yeah, of course you could, yeah. Right? Absolutely. I Put actually, on the list? I'm be honest with you, it's very easy to make as well. I know you're like, I'm not making that, but uh, I was actually helping a friend of mine on Friday do a barbie. And he's like, oh, I'm going to get Ras Al Hanout. He just made it. Like okay, this, it's wow. fair. It isn't like 700 ingredients. Okay. And you're just mincing it all up, so just well, the Ras mix it all is together. Spice. So yeah, so just, yeah. you basically, so really, really simple recipe. You take your mince, you get all your spices, clean hands, all that, just mix it up and then taste it. So as a chef, whenever you make burgers and stuff like that, or like pâtés, always have a little taste. Stick a little burger, there's still a patty on for yourself. Oh, so you'll nice. And is it lean mince? Pardon? It's lean mince. It's 5%. Oh, 5%, yeah. So, gorgeous. like, what you have, right? Okay, I'm kind of downplaying it. I've made you a flatbread, which has loads of spice in yeah, it, and yogurt, gorgeous. and all these kind of lovely things. So then the dressing, right? So the dressing you yes, have here... this is what I'm excited the, this about. Is, this yeah. is one of my things. I actually, do you know what? Um, I learned this off a of chef only about two, two or three weeks ago, and I was like, this is brilliant. So it's essentially like yogurt, uh, mayonnaise, lots of garlic, so don't be kissing uh, later on. Um, <laughs> have you got cucumber as well? No, cucumbers on the side. Oh, That's okay. just like kind of fresh. Um, but what I do is I take these. Yeah. So this is what you would do at home. You just get your spring onion. Yeah. Just whack it on the barbie. Okay, so you char them. You just burn them. So right. they get real smoky, real nice. sweet. And they just kind of collapse. And then I, um, I kind of put like cling film over them. So they sweat. Chop that all up. And then I have another, another spice that you can get in the shops. I've seen it in most shops. Sumac. Yeah, oh so yeah. it's berry, so it's really kind of yeah. like stringent and mm -hmm. acidic. So, you know, the whole thing kind of works together. And do, with the garlic, do you roast the garlic in the no, oven? No, I don't. I just, I literally, I crush it, uh, okay. chop it up, uh, put salt on it so it kind of sweats out. Now, I was uh, laughing earlier, I, uh, in the recipe, I said, oh, you know, use your favourite chilli sauce. I went, uh, I actually went home and realised I have no chilli sauce. So I made you chilli sauce last night. Of course you did. So this is chilli sauce This is what you get when you're Michelin star chef. There coming. you go. I made it. Yeah. But Absolutely. Just a normal bit of chilli sauce. Now, I was reading, so you have lemons, obviously, there. Yeah, I just... But what's a salted lemon? Oh, they're just preserved. Basically, you cut them, make a slit in them, pack them in salt, and they just kind of, like, sit there for... You can leave them there for two years. Amazing. Really, really okay. amazing. And it just add, kind of adds to the flavour then? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they put sugar and salt. It just kind of mellows out the actual... Kind of breaks it down and just makes it really interesting. Lifts the... I suppose like the acidity and the sweetness. It's really, really cool. And it works especially with stuff like this. 
just having a look at the koftas there on the barbecue, yes. and obviously you can't tell, uh, you don't want to cut yes. into them. So are there other tips in terms well, of the juices this, this or something? Is, this is the, the beauty of it. Like, there's three kind of things that is kind of essential when you're barbecuing. Is it hot? Is it piping hot? Mm -hmm. Like, it's kind of the basics, is it hot? Yeah. You know, are the juices that, if you're cooking chicken, or if you're cooking sausages, or you're cooking koftas like this, what, the juice is coming out, are they just clear? Okay. And that's fairly, like, it Thinner is easy. Red, yeah. um, and then obviously, you know, chicken is another one, is there pink meat? Mm. And that's it, it's very, very simple. Okay. It's just things to look at, but obviously, if you're not, you know. Do you think the probes, because you can get ones that, because that one obviously you have to stick it in. Yeah. Um, but you can get ones that are kind of maybe wireless or ones that have a long lead, whatever, which yeah, are really yeah, handy you know, for, for cooking in the barbecue. If I'm honest with you, some of these, I'm going to stick one of these on because actually looking at you eating there, I'm actually starving myself. You want a knife and fork? So, no, 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 I'm going full hog with this yeah, one. You know, anyway. there are ones you can have the app and you can have it on your phone mm. and you can be all techy and flashy. But to be honest with you, that's what puts people off sometimes. You know, having these type of things, it's cheap, it's easy, and if you lose it, just get another one. They're really, really handy. And Eric, can we ask you, because all the talk today is, of course, indoor hospitality, yes. the sector is opening up, and you worked for years in, in restaurants. I did, yeah. What would the feeling be like today? I'd say elation, happiness. Like, it's one of those things, it's, it's, that's what we do, that's yeah. our job, and it's, mm. for the last year and a half, it has been a bit kind of... Really it's difficult. Been, it's been weird. It's been weird, to say the least. Yeah. You know, I'm actually just going to lash this on here. Lovely. And talk to me, like, from your point of view, like, it's an incredible backstory. Uh, like, it's some of the chefs that you have worked with to get to where you are now. I mean, talk to us. I, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm lucky um, that I kind of got in with the right people at the start. And I always say that to young chefs, you know, don't take a job just because it's like, you know, good money and go straight in. Okay. Just always think about where you're going to be in five years' time. And that's what I did. And I was just lucky to kind of go to the likes of Heston Blumenthal and, you know, Phil well, Harris. How, how do you get in with Heston? Like, everybody has this beg, vision that beg, they want. Borough. Oh, really? Yeah. Use your charm. I was, th I was there for a good few months for free. Could you imagine that? Well, that's so what so you're you got to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saved for two years to go. Uh, three jobs. I worked in a butcher shop, I worked in a restaurant, and I worked in wine merchants. Right. Wow. Just so, yeah. Here. And so that to, to save up to pretty much be able to come on as an intern, yeah, listen, I'm That's to just going to just say, like, come on, yeah. Yeah. OK, so, all right, you know, it's time to go. Have a little bit. Wait for long enough. And you can buy these flatbreads as well, obviously. You can, but just make them like me. It's very simple. Mm. Guys, thanks very much. Enjoy. Oh, Eric, this looks Look absolutely delicious. I'm going to use my knife and fork. Yeah, you're going to be a I lady. Meantime, you're like, oh, I've lash into it. If you weren't here much. and the camera wasn't here, I'd be doing the same as you. That oh garlic. God. It's is delicious. Is, so talk to me that sauce, because <laughs> I'm going to make the sauce. It also mm. tastes better the day after. So essentially, it's so good. mayonnaise, yogurt, yeah. salted lemon, tahini. OK. Oh, I love tahini. Your charred uh, spring onions, lots of garlic, lots of lemon. I'll send you the recipe. Oh, a texture fine. recipe. You well, can we taste will, the smokiness from it. We all. will have it online on the Facebook page yeah. and the whole lot. Mm. Listen, Eric, that is fab. Absolutely thank you very much. much. Guys, thanks Love for having me on. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it.